Morning guys and welcome back once again to I Like Watches. During a recent mini sale on AliExpress, I think AliExpress were trying to compete with Amazon Prime. So when Amazon were having their Prime deal days, um, yeah, AliExpress had a little mini sale. Um, I picked up five watches, a Bodery, a Bernie, an Addy's Dive, I believe, a Skme and a D simple or a dimple or a simple. I'm not entirely sure how you say the name of this particular brand, but um, yeah, I bought five watches from AliExpress. And in today's video, I'm going to show you the two cheapest watches that I bought the Skme and the Dimple, I'm going to call it. The prices are insane, um, but are they junk? Are they watches we should actually be considering? Um, that's the question I'm going to be trying to answer in this video. I'm going to start with the dimple because, well, it was two dollars um, all in, less than two pounds to well, buy and have sent to me um, in the UK, which is just ridiculous. I mean, it might as well have been free, to be perfectly honest. Um, it is a quartz field watch. There's a couple of colours available. And um, what do you actually get for less than two pounds? Two dollars five, I think it was. So, um, yeah, let's have a look, shall we? Well, here's the watch and here is the listing on AliExpress. And um, yeah, it looks all right in the pictures, doesn't it? And as you can see, um, the price there, two dollars and five, three hundred and fourteen units sold. Four point five stars. There's a couple of color options available. You've got this rather hideous looking lime green dial version and then this one which is um yeah the one that i've bought as you can see so um yeah is it any good um well i can tell you from unboxing it or unwrapping it, it doesn't come with a box um it does feel as you would expect incredibly cheap um the crown is incredibly loosey-goosey um there's quite a bit of movement on the crown before the hands even start to move. There's no resistance at all. Um, it's just so cheap feeling and light feeling. I'm gonna take the case back off if I can. I think it's just a compression fit, sort of snap on case back. And um, yeah, before I do that, I might put it inside a Herman actually. Um, but yeah, it does feel very, very cheap and very, very light. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's um, plastic. The crystal, that is. Um, I do think the case is metal, um, but yeah, the crystal is almost certainly going to be acrylic and some sort of plastic, cheap feeling material. The strap feels pretty horrible, but it does have a stainless steel buckle look and, um, well, I'm sure it does the job. Um, let's just have a little fiddle with the crown and see if we can advance stuff. I'm pretty sure it does work. Yeah, there you go. You can advance the date. And if I advance the time, it changes the date at roughly the right time. And um, it is an... Oh, it is hacking. I don't think it was hacking earlier. Um, it is a hacking movement by the looks of it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's a hacking quartz movement. Um, field watch. You can see from the shape of the case and the dial. 24-hour numbers on the dial as well as the um, standard 1 to 12. Um, any loom, I wonder. Let's um, switch the lights off and have a look. Well, there is some loom, um, but it is pretty shocking. Um, on the hands in particular, look at that. I mean, it's fading before our eyes, literally. In a matter of 30 seconds, I suspect those um, hands will be unreadable. The phone is now struggling to um, focus on the loom, which is a good indicator that really um, it's not very bright. So yeah, there is some loom, um, but it is, as you would expect, pretty shocking. Something else that's pretty shocking is the case finishing. But again, um, what should I expect for $2 delivered to my door? Um, yeah, look at the edges of the case. I mean, it is ropey to say the least. What material is that? It does sound like metal. Um, so yeah, it does sound and look like it's got a metal case back and a metal case. Um, but yeah, I don't know how it's been made. It looks like it's just been sort of molded in some sort of um, machine. It doesn't look like it's been milled. Um, from a piece of metal and it's come with scratches and imperfections on it. So, um, yeah, 
Um, what should we expect really for $2? Um, not much at all. Um, the crystal is flat. No AR coating, of course. It's still working, which is a bit of a bonus. A bit of a brucey. Um, th 30 meters of water resistance. Yeah, I was just about to say 300. No, no. 30 meters of water resistance. Um, yeah, there's the dial. Hmm. And there it is on my roughly average sized wrist. It feels very, very light. I'll put the dimensions and the weight in the bottom right hand corner there. Um, almost no downturn on the lugs at all. Um, yeah, just a very simple case and design. But um, it is doing the job, isn't it? It's a watch and it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's telling me the time and the date, and actually it feels perfectly comfortable. Um, is it worth it? Well, I mean, it's $2. It's very difficult to judge a $2 watch because, like I said, if it just tells the time, it's got to be worth it, hasn't it? Is it a watch that I would wear ever? No, um, absolutely not. Um, but it's a bit of a stocking filler. If you've got someone, a young teenager or, I don't know, nephews or nieces and you're looking for a bit of a stocking filler, um, this sort of thing, it's pretty good value, isn't it? Because, well, it doesn't look like a $2 watch. If I did wear this out and about, I don't think anybody's going to look at this watch and go, he's wearing a $2 watch because, well, I don't think any of us expect any watches to be $2. But um, anyway. Right, let's take a look at the SCMI and I think I'm going to film the water resistance test and I'm going to sort of demolish this watch and have a look and see how it's made in a video for I Like Watches 2. So um, make sure you're subscribed here and also over there. Right, here's the second watch. It is a digital sort of dive style watch by SCMI and here is the listing. And um, yeah, as you can see, this one's well, 10 times more expensive at 24-ish dollars, um, yeah, less than 20 pounds to bring this one into the UK. Um, a few color options available. As you can see, I went for the green one. Um, but yeah, I mean, there are a few options. And um, SCMI is a brand that we should take a little bit more seriously because they have a huge following on AliExpress and actually some of their watches are pretty decent. And most of them are sub $50. Um, most of them are actually around the same price as this one, 20 odd dollars or so. Um, but yeah, they do tend to make um, pretty decent watches. So um, this, I think, is going to be, well, a bit more difficult to judge because um, I think you'd expect a little bit more for $20. And I think SCMI are going to deliver. Um, anyway, let's have a look and see. Um, what it is they've sent me, um, yeah, you can see there's a couple of digital interfaces on the dial. There is a rotating diver's bezel. Um, I don't know what the water resistance is, but I suspect you're not going to want to take this one diving. Let's have a look. Yep, there it is. Look, 30 meters of water resistance. So it's splash proof, um, which is basically what that means. I don't know why they've put a picture of someone swimming on the case back because... I suspect if you did take this one swimming, um, you'd probably end up killing it. I think I'm going to put this one inside of Herman as well in that video on I Like Watches 2. So, um, yeah, dive style, bezel, pretty pointless. It feels horrible. I mean, look at the back plates. Unbelievable. Um, but it does actually line up when you force it back. It lines up. Look. <laughs> so they can do something Seiko can't. Um, the light is pretty shocking. Let me just quickly show you that. Yep, there it is. Look, the phone is struggling to focus because it's just not very bright at all. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Oh, oh, hang on. Oh, it almost did it then. Yeah, there we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, it does work. Um, it's just not that bright, but bright enough to see in the dark, I guess. So um, yeah, maybe they are intentionally keeping the light quite dull so that um, it doesn't use up too much battery um what have we got on here we've got some buttons obviously um i suspect it's going to be a fairly typical module stopwatch alarms dual timer um yeah countdown timer and yeah that's it and um yeah your light and then you'll have your start stop buttons and your alarms hang on start stop reset um so yeah a fairly standard module um nothing too fancy but um yeah it's an interesting combination isn't it dive style watch with a 
sort of chronograph and digital module inside. Again, in that video on I like watches too, I think I'll um, put these two watches inside of Herman and then take them apart and see if I can determine whether or not the case is steel. But I don't think it is. I suspect it's chromed. Um, the bracelet, as you can hear, is very um, cheap feeling and jangly. Um, but actually, I mean, it doesn't feel um, like a joke. It doesn't feel like um, a toy or a complete waste of money. And um, I mean, I think it looks half decent, actually, in the pictures on their listing. I think it looked really good. Um, I'm not wild about the way it looks um, now that it's in my hands. But um, yeah, I mean, for $20, can't really be too critical, can we? Um, let's have a look at the loom, actually. There should be some loom on it. Yep, there is some loom on the hands and there's a loom pip and um, wow, it looks all right, doesn't it? Definitely better than the dimple. Um, but again, the phone is struggling to focus, um, proving that it's just not very bright. And here it is then on my roughly average sized wrist. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks all right, doesn't it? It feels very, very light again. Dimensions and weight in the bottom right hand corner. Um, yeah, I mean, it doesn't look like a $20 watch. Um, doesn't really feel like a $20 watch either, I have to say, although when you're rotating that bezel, perhaps it does. Um, the pushes actually feel quite nice, um, yeah, to press and engage with. So um, they do make a lot of digital watches, so um, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise that they've combined these two types of watches uh, sort of stainless steel sports watch with a digital watch. But, um, I mean, for $20, they've done a pretty good job, haven't they, really? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, definitely doesn't look like a $20 watch on my wrist. So this one is definitely more of a contender um, to be taken seriously or more seriously than the previous watch. Um, is it a watch that I would ever wear? Mm, yeah, probably not, I'm afraid.